Jerry Miller, 007 Systems, and welcome to another instructional video. Today we are going to be unboxing and installing the Ecolink Garage Door Tilt Sensor. This sensor is uh, stuck or screwed to your garage door and it'll send uh, data on whether the door is actually open or closed by sensing whether the panels or the garage door itself is actually tilted. It's very easy to install and it works great. So let's get to it. First thing is, let's get the box open. Let's cut it open there, open it up. You're gonna see inside you have one sensor, one mounting bracket, and one battery, and one printed instruction manual. Now the sensor itself is plastic, and on the bottom of the sensor is a button that you push, and that releases the front cover. On the left-hand side is an orientation arrow that needs to be pointing up when you mount it. So make sure that arrow is pointing up. On the back of the unit is two mounting holes for the mounting clip. And we'll discuss that in a second. On the left hand or on the right hand side, nothing. And on the bottom is a set screw hole for a set screw. On the front, you have a hole uh, that's going to show the LED on the inside and the status of the unit. So let's push that bottom button. I'm sorry, the top button and open the unit. <clears throat> Once the unit is open, you can see where the battery goes, the LED and the hole in the front cover and uh, everything's pretty nice, it's a good design. Uh, the battery here, we're gonna go ahead and take the pl plastic off of it because it's clear and it's not really noticeable, so make sure you take the plastic. Now, one thing I didn't show real well was there's a, a terminal screw on the circuit board itself. That is used for an external switch. Uh, you put a normally closed switch on there and you can use it externally. That's where the battery goes. Now we'll move on to the mounting plate. This mounting plate, uh, it needs to be either screwed on to a wooden surface or you can use a double sticky tape supplied with the unit and put it on a metal surface. Uh, there's a double sticky tape and the three screws. You have two mounting screws and one really small set screw. Make sure you don't lose that screw. Um, so the bottom of the unit does have a set screw hole that you're going to put that screw into and when you're done it'll uh, fasten it up really nicely. So you want to make sure that mounting plate is mounted upright and here I'm putting it on the back of the unit make sure the orientation arrow is in the upward uh, direction and the face plate I'm sorry the mounting plate is either stuck with a double sticky tape or screwed into the wood and you're going to just clamp it down like that and then use that small screw for the scut screw in the bottom and it holds the unit in place it's really secure it's really quick to install and it works really well now what you want to do is pair the sensor with the controller. Okay, before we mount the unit, we are going to include it into the Vera system. And uh, to do that, it's very simple. Take the cover off the unit. Take the battery for the unit. But before we put it in there, what we want to do is turn the unit on battery power. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. It's going to take a while. You'll see the blue light start blinking here. And then after about a minute, you'll see the orange light start blinking. That means you are ready to, ex, uh, to uh, include a device into the Vera controller. First thing we're going to do is exclude it, though. Okay, the orange light is blinking slowly. That means you're ready to include it. So what we're going to do is exclude it first. Now we got a fast, a fast blinking orange light. So we're going to go ahead and put the battery in. As soon as you put the battery in this unit, it puts it in inclusion or exclusion mode. So you only want to do this after you have the Vera in its proper mode. So we're going to put the battery in. Watch the status. You got the flashed, fast blinking lights telling you the exchange of data. It is now excluded into the device. So now what we're going to do is take the battery back out. We're going to put this unit in inclusion mode by hitting the plus. There we go. Now we get that fast, fast blinking light telling it's, it, it is included in the device. So now we're ready to mount it. I've got a solid light on there and it goes out. That means it's ready to go. So now we can mount it. And now that we uh, have the battery in the unit, we're going to go test it real quick. So I have the application pulled up on my laptop and I'm going to test this real quick. You'll notice uh, the motion sensor, sorry about that, is right there. So you'll see the little icon change 
uh, when I tilt it. Now this unit is meant to be tilted, obviously it's a tilt sensor, so when it does get tilted, uh, it will send a signal to the unit and you'll see that icon change that quickly. So when the garage door goes up and the, and the panels start tilting and tilting, tilting, and it goes vertical, it will tell you that the door is open. That's why you need to make sure it is on the top panel of your garage door. So it operates that quickly. You can also hear it clicking in there. It's uh, something rolling back and forth in the unit physically uh, to, to make that change happen. So that's it. So now we know it's working. We can put it on the garage door and hook it up. Okay, now we're going to mount this thing. Make sure you have everything. Your back faceplate, your double sticky tape, uh, your three screws. Two of these screws are used for a wooden door. We're not going to use these in, the, in this application because we have a steel door. Uh, make sure you have your little tiny small set screw also. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, grab the back mounting plate and the double sticky tape. And we're going to take the paper off the tape and we're going to stick that double sticky tape just in the middle of that back mounting bracket. Now the double sticky tape isn't as big as the mounting bracket so you want to stick the tape in the middle there. Go ahead and take the paper off the back of that double sticky tape and you're ready to go. A couple things here. You want to make sure the mounting bracket is orientated correct, correctly. Uh, you want that support on the bottom. So make sure that support right there is on the bottom when you stick it up there. Uh, now, you have a couple of vertical struts there you can mount to. Uh, we're going to go to the one all the way on the right just because it looks better in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and mount this one right on the right. Before you stick it on there, make sure you clean off any oils or grease that might be on there that hinders that sticking of that double sticky tape. So once you get that all cleaned off, stick it on there. Make sure it's not around a lot of metal. Uh, the less metal around it, the better. Go ahead and stick it on. Push your fingers on there. Make it real tight. Pretty, pretty basic stuff here. Once you get that stuck on there, you're going to take the sensor itself. You'll notice the two holes will line up with the two holes or the two mounting supports on the mounting bracket. Slide it down. Then you want to get your small set screw. This thing is really tiny. Do not drop it. Uh, get yourself a good magnet magnetic screwdriver to hold that screw. Put the screw on the screwdriver. Screw it up in that little tiny hole. And that's it. You pretty much mounted it and it's done. Just make sure you don't drop that screw. It is tiny. Okay, now we've got the unit mounted on the door. The tilt sensor is on the tallest or the highest panel on the garage door. You want to make sure you put that tilt sensor on the highest panel you can. Because if you put it down here, it's not going to trigger until you the door actually gets up and around. So you want to make sure you got that on the highest panel you can. It's uh, mounted, the battery's in, it's been included, so now we're going to do our final testing. Uh, we also have the laptop out here, and I do have uh, the garage door tilt sensor set up right there. So we're going to go ahead and open that garage door, and when you hear it go, you'll see how quickly it does trigger. That quickly on the top of it. So we're going to go ahead and close, uh, stop the garage door. And now we're going to go ahead and close it, and you'll see how quickly it will be. Now putting it on the top panel, you'll notice it doesn't go green until the door is completely closed, or it is uh, triggered and the door is open about a foot. So I'll go ahead and open it again. And you can see the garage door is only open that much. And the panel is only tilted that much for it to be triggered. And again, we'll go ahead and close it. And you'll see it goes that quick. So you'll see it's a pretty good sensor. It works really well. I'll let you know in time uh, how the battery lasts. But right now it's working uh, really well. Hope you like it too. If you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you very much.